Hello. I am Admiral Rachel Levine, the Assistant Secretary for Health at the United States Department of Health and Human Services, or HHS. And I am a champion of Kidney X, a private-public partnership between HHS and the American Society of Nephrology. Kidney disease affects over 37 million Americans, and $100 billion annually is spent on kidney care, such as dialysis. Communities of color are disproportionately affected. While black Americans make up 13.5% of the population, they make up more than 35% of dialysis patients. The current treatment options available for kidney care have not changed significantly over the last 60 years. It is evident that we need to find new solutions. Kidney X prizes aim to do just that by accelerating innovation in the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of kidney diseases through the power of prize competitions. Kidney X has launched over $17 million worth of prize challenges since our partnership launched in 2018. In June 2023, HHS and ASN awarded $9.2 million in cash prizes to eight winners of the Artificial Kidney Prize Phase II Prize. Huge congratulations to our latest cohort of Kidney X winners. Transplantation is often the best option for people with advanced kidney disease. However, the number of people in need of a new kidney vastly outstrips available donors. This phenomenon is especially pronounced in underprivileged and minority communities, making transplants no more than a dream for millions. Thirteen patients die each day while waiting for a kidney transplant. With artificial kidneys, we can open up more opportunities for providing more supply to meet the needs of people with kidney diseases. Kidney X winners are advancing the artificial kidney toward human clinical trials. So artificial organs will move from science fiction to clinical reality. Congratulations to all the winning teams and thank you to all of you at Kidney X Community and Beyond. With your support and ideas, we're making the next frontier of artificial organs a reality. Produced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services.